7th of March 2023 and this sweet mark I'm going to talk about the sanction madness in the United States. It is just, there's just absolutely no more limitations or sanity or logic in the sanction regime. Sanctions are dished out left, right and center. There's, there's basically not a country in the world that is not under one or other American sanction. And there was this tweet. Russia will roll out devastating sanctions against the US is an entirely possible scenario. Russia is scaring President Joe Biden with the possibility that Moscow will introduce devastating sanctions against the United States. Now, there are some of you that might wonder, uh, how is this possible? The reality is that Russia produces 40% of the uranium, enriched uranium, that is used in nuclear power stations. Russia is also a major recycler of uranium and the nuclear industry of Russia is not under sanctions. Then there is the matter of the titanium. In Europe a hell of a lot of their industries cannot function without the Russian titanium. And the sanctions that was originally implemented against Russia on the Airbus spare parts and things like that was later reversed because uh, with Airbus sa sanctioning Russia, Russia stopped supplying titanium and aluminum to Airbus. So. The sanctions has backfired in a big way. The economy of Europe is struggling because of the sanctions that they implemented against Russia. US and allies plot clamp down on sanctions evading Russia. Deputy Treasury Secretary Wally Idemi, Idemo announced Tuesday that a coalition of the US and 30 allies would impose a new raft of measures this week to crack down on Russia evading sanctions and export channel controls. We will force those that fail to implement our sanctions and export controls to choose between their economic ties with our coalition of countries or providing material support to Russia. He said while warning entities still doing business with Moscow will also face sanctions. A demo did admit that Russia's economy appeared in a better health than the West had expected at the start of the conflict. And it is in this paragraph where he says they will have to choose between their economic ties with our coalition of countries or providing material support to Russia. That is plain blackmail and they tried it in Africa and a lot of the African countries told them to take a hike and all over the, call it the global south if you want to, you can see countries are ignoring these things from America now. And then there was that absolute monumental speech that Ursula von der Crazy made in which she said that the Russians are buying up washing machines and fridges to strip the chips out for their weapons industry. And I saw this from Cherubuki Man. Ursula von der Batshit infamously claimed that Russia were stealing washing machines to make missiles. I was skeptical because not a shred of evidence was provided. 
Well, damn. I hate to admit, but I've been proven wrong. And there's that image with a flying washing machine. Analysts reveal voracious buyers of Russia's oil products. North African nations have sharply increased imports of Russian diesel and other refined oil products, while petrochemical exports from the region have seen a significant uptick, the Wall Street Journal reported on Saturday, citing trading analysts. Industry experts are reportedly raising concerns that Russian sanctioned cargoes are being blended with other oil products and resold. The procedure effectively disguises the ultimate origin of the products, undermining Western states' efforts to oust Russian fossil fuels from their economies. Imports of Russian diesel by Morocco soared to 2 million barrels in January, compared with some 600,000 barrels recorded during 2021. According to analysts from commodities market data firm Coppler, who stressed that a further 1.2 million barrels will be shipped to the country this month. That is a substantial increase. And once again, it was insane, the sanctions that they placed on Russia, because the world needs energy. And then there's this classic Putin, Russian Federation President Vladimir Putin, I do not smile much, but when I do, I'm thinking about Western economic sanctions levied against my country, hurting them more than us. To think about. And let me end this with this cartoon. I think that is extremely applicable. Russia and China taking America away. And they screaming sanctions, sanctions, sanctions. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.